Hello, everybody. This is Kate Stashley from Dedicated. I'm Hi. here at Click Connect with Arthur Fitt, Chief Information Officer of Reed's Rulers. Arthur, I want to start by asking you, we're, we're here talking about diamonds and data, right? Yeah. And they do have quite a bit in common. They have to be clean, they have to be prepped. They, we can't just grab them and wear them. They're not as pretty. And they have to be trusted. They do have to be trusted. They need mm -hmm. a certain quality. Exactly. And I want to start by asking you, how, what role does data play in Reed's Jewelers? It's a very important part of our strategy. We have transformed ourselves into a data-driven culture. Uh, we make decisions primarily off of what data is telling us. Mm -hmm. And the decisions uh, run the gamut from what product lines to put out there, how to price product, but also our real estate strategy. Where do we need to open the next store? Mm -hmm. And even the definition of what a store is for the future is all a part of how we use data. Right, I think the definition is a very good point. A lot of businesses, a lot of especially big companies, they struggle with naming terms. You would think it's easy, like this is a product and right. someone will call this a widget or something else. And then in that case, the data is all out of whack, right? Correct, correct. So we're since we're at Click Connect, let's talk about Click. Okay. Uh, how does Reed actually use Click? So in a variety of different ways, um, we have an approach that allows our, our users to use the technology that best suits their affinity. And so we have different use cases. There are some of our users who use the dashboard as it is presented. Okay. They go in, they click around, they get insights, and they make decisions. We have another group of users who will go into a dashboard, focus on one tile, zoom in, export it to Excel, okay. and go do whatever it is that they do with it after it's in Excel, right? That's a whole nother story. Yes. And then there's another group of users who essentially want to use the Click dashboard itself as a way to just spur the creative thinking process. You know, you look at, um, you know, a, 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 a spatial chart that shows that we're suddenly shipping orders to Southern California. You probably didn't know yeah. the extent to which we have coverage. And once you see that, it makes you start thinking about interesting things like, oh, maybe we should have a store close by as a distribution center, as an example. Right. And th those are great examples. Have you struggled with adoption at all? So, you know, it, it's an expected um, uh, experience right. because... Change adoption is not simple, uh, and it's not a straight line. Yeah. It's got lots of curves and lots of hills. What's important is that we're focused on where we're going, and that we have at, at Reeds. Mm -hmm. And so we started uh, this journey about four and a half years ago when I came on as chief information officer and started to, to push the whole architecture okay. around data analytics with Click. And we started with one or two basic fundamental dashboards, and now we're running well over 20 to 30 different dashboards supporting our gold buying business, mm. our distribution services, fulfillment services, the performance of reads.com in real time, to also understanding our inventory turns and everything in between, including our project management office. Mm. They're using that to keep track of projects, okay. for which we have a lot. Interesting, so you mentioned real time. I wanna hear more about this. How do you use real-time analytics? Yeah. So the term real-time can be a little bit nuanced. So what we're doing is we want to understand uh, as close to immediate as possible. Near real-time, right? How <laughs> reads.com is performing. Okay. We want to understand the, the, the average order value of our, of our transactions. We want to understand which product is outperforming which product, which product category is outperforming. And we'd rather not wait for 24 hours. Right. So what we've done is we've connected our data lake directly to our Magento e-commerce store, and we've created a series of views off of that, and clicks connected directly to these views, and it's refreshing every 15 minutes throughout the day. Oh, okay. That's pretty real time. So that's, you know, I mean, we're not a trading system. Yeah, we don't, you don't need, need to every know second. every second how many, you know, Mikimoto pearls we sold. Right. But we'd like to understand on a 15-minute cycle, how are we doing? Do we have enough product? What's the load on the site? And things mm -hmm. of that nature, yeah. Okay, very interesting. So you mentioned the journey for you and Reads together, I guess, started about four and a half years ago with Click. Yeah, at the start of COVID. 
at the start of COVID. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people have an interesting story of like yeah, things yeah, that started sort of with like, COVID. I, you know, I hear when you think of BC, it it means before COVID. Yes. And, and then there's AC, AC's so it's like we're COVID. after COVID. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we couldn't do this four no, years ago for sure. Yeah. So when you joined and when you started, did you have to deal with legacy systems and new channels and sort of any of those struggles? I guess the question is not did you, but tell nah, me about your. It was perfect. It was all perfect. It was all wow. 21st century stuff. Easy job. Yeah. <laughs> There was like lots of AI already there. <laughs> the agents are just doing the work yeah, for yeah, you, right? Yeah, it was just agents everywhere. It was weird. No, no, no. We're 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 no different than the the typical company that has grown up uh, with a legacy of you know AS four hundred type uh, mini computers, um, which was a good idea at the time, uh, and and so we've had to come up with uh, novel ways to um, sweat that asset, as it were, because mm -hmm. you can't just turn it off. Right. And so we spent a lot of time mapping the data that's in the AS400 relative to the business model, relative to the analytics that we want to do. Mm -hmm. And then we established our ETL services to bring that data into our data lake, and then we slap click on top of it. Okay, interesting. So it wasn't just um, overnight success. No, it's, it's, it's been uh, four and a half years. And, and you know, the, the thing with business intelligence is it's a, it's a journey. It's not a destination, right? Right, guys? you're still on that and, journey and, now. And, right? and you'll always be on that journey. Because the minute you say you know everything you need to know oh, about yeah, data, no. It, it, you're, you're kidding yourself. It's, it's there nonstop. There is some rich data is going to pop up. Yes. And it's going to make you question everything you thought you knew. So what's next on that journey? What's next on the roadmap? What we want to do is to um, become a little bit more uh, focused on how we can incorporate um, AI use cases. Okay. Right? I'm very careful about jumping on AI just because it's cool. I, I need to have the right use cases. Yes. And so with, with the advancements in the click suite and the, the richness of its machine learning capabilities, it is my goal to take advantage of that. Okay. I think you're one of many who want to incorporate AI and agents. Is that right? Well, I, th I think people are trying to, right? Yes, yes. Not everyone will succeed, unfortunately, right. but I'm sure you will. You yeah. know what you're doing. Well, I hope we are successful, <laughs> but but I, I have a lot of trust in what we're doing at Click, yeah. and, uh, I, and I rely on that. Good, it's good that it, it's a partnership, right? It you're not doing is. it alone. No, no, we're not doing it alone. And final question for you, Arthur, is for anyone who's interested in trying out Click, like, where do you think they should get started to maybe avoid some of the early issues you had or just to make the process a little smoother? I think one thing that you should do is absolutely leverage the community. It's, it's a lot of rich data and support. It's this global network of friends. You put a question out there and the answer comes back. Sometimes in a language you don't understand because it's a global network. But now you network. can translate it. But yeah. now we have AI. You can just say, hey, translate that Greek into English for yes. me. Right? But, but I, I, I started leveraging that, and my guys have been. Okay. And it's been, um, it's been a wonderful, positive experience doing that. That's a great way to go. Okay, great. Well, Arthur, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. That's